Are we live? We're going live. We're live. Thanks for coming here and thanks for thanks for sharing with us today. You're going to talk about uh, pinning a clarinet. So yeah, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do a carbon fiber pin. Um, just a few tools I'm going to use. I got my carbon fiber rod ready to go. I've got an automatic center punch, um, number 52 drill bit, pencil, and I almost guarantee I won't need it, but I've got Grenadilla wood dust here in case I need extra dust. So I just take my pencil and draw where I want the pins to go. I like to put the pins in diagonal. I feel like you get a little bit better grip that way. So there we go. I'm like, okay, maybe about three pins. Um, so I'm going to take my automatic center punch and I'm gonna punch a hole at the beginning of where I want each pin to go. So now I've got um, I have somewhere for the uh, drill to grab onto when I start drilling into it. Okay, so I got my number 52 drill bit loaded up. Okay, and that's it. I'm just doing that just a little bit, just so the drill bit can grab onto it. Otherwise, you know, I'm drilling onto something that's round, it's likely to just skip off. And now I'm going to drill and I'm just gonna kind of follow my pencil line. And I usually do two or three passes on this. I got my carbon fiber rod. Um, I like to have a nice smooth surface. So um, I just stick it in my lathe real quick and um, just sand the end of it part that's gonna go in. What I'm gonna do is put that in, that hole that I just drilled. And so I got it sticking right out there, right? Back to the pencil. And I'm gonna draw right where the pin meets the hole. So I've got a mark now on it. And I need that mark because I need to cut a little slot there so that when I fully install the pin and glue it in, I can break it off right at the correct spot. So to put the slot in there, I need to take it back to my lathe and I'm gonna aim for thawing in um, about one third of the way through the rod. So I'm gonna take my thin uh, Music Medic uh, Instacure. So I'm gonna put a drop or two of super glue into that hole that I drilled. Next, I'm gonna put the pin in and break it off. So it's in there, it's secure. And is your is your little is your is your cut kind of a gauge so you know it's all the way in, or is your hole big enough that it just slid in and you know it's in because it bottomed out? Because it bottomed out. You felt it bottom out. Yep, yep. exactly. Okay. And now I'm gonna break it off at that notch. There we go, we've got a pin. Yeah, and I would go through and do that two more times. I'm gonna take my super glue, and then this is just a little piece of paraffin wax with a little well drilled into it. And I'm gonna put a few drops in my well there. Um, I don't know why, but super glue won't cure when it's in a little paraffin well like that. Um, and I wanna get rid of, um, any oils that are on the surface. So I'm just gonna take some acetone on a Q-tip and I'm just gonna kind of dry everything up. I'm gonna oil it again when I'm at the end of this process. So I don't really care that I'm drying out the wood right now. Um, then uh, my very first step, I wanna get rid of all the surface glue. Um, so I'm going to uh, use my triangular scraper here. All right, so I significantly um, ugly that thing up, right? Okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's gonna look nicer in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna start out with regular old um, sandpaper. Um, I like 220, cause just because that's what I have around, what I use on um, uh, thin corks. So I'll start out with 220 and I'm just gonna sand it until it's a fairly smooth surface. So after that first pass with sanding, I'm not gonna blow that off or anything. I'm gonna leave it all right there and I'm gonna add super glue to it. 
because that dust is really nice and fine and it's going to work into the holes that I drilled and as well as the crack itself. Hmm. So I've got an old uh, musicmedic.com spring hook here um, and I'm just going to dip that into my well and apply the super glue that way. Hmm. Yeah, so it's right there. I won't even let that dry all the way, honestly, before I start, um, before I start sanding on the first couple passes. So I'm going to do basically the exact same thing I did um, on the first pass of the sand just now. There's super glue on the instrument. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, ready to go on to the yeah. next step, which is going to be almost exactly the same thing. Just instead of super glue, I'm going to use bore oil. All right, so I um, think I'm done with the regular old sandpaper. We're getting there, you know, still kind of ugly, but it's closer. I am going to go to micro mesh now. And so I'm going to 1500 grit. Same deal, I'm gonna put a coat of bore oil on it. And this is probably the biggest difference when I go um, the pass when I do the sandpaper and then do the first one with micro mesh. That's that's going to be the biggest difference where it starts to kind of look like, oh, there, there's hope of this blending in after all. So what do we got? Hey, that is a big difference. Yeah, that's going to be the biggest nice. difference right there. Really, really, really high grits of <laughs> sand of a uh, micro mesh. Um, let's see, I do uh, my typical order is 1500, 2400. 3,200 and 6,000. Okay, so that's after 2,400. All right, that's after 3,200. Wow, yeah, that's looking yeah. great. I could honestly probably leave it like that right now, but let's, let's do 6,000 just to be sure. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah, so um, I would uh, put a really thin coat of uh, bore oil just over the spot that I've been sanding. Um, I'd even wipe, just wipe it off with a paper towel. And then I would leave it to sit overnight. Just I feel like that gives it that last little like one or 2% of blending power or something like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, then I'd uh, put it back together and play it and make sure everything works and uh, check it on the leak tester and send it on its way. Cool, Miles. That, that was really great. That was really a great clinic and so or a great presentation and so clearly laid out of how to do it and, and your technique. And thanks for bringing us in and sharing it with us. Thanks for having me. This was great.